everyone, I'm Heather and welcome back to my channel. So we are back today with Auto Knots. And in the last episode, uh, we just did some random things. So I have a guy who's kind of pulling up the stumps and filling in holes in the areas because we changed our lumber yard to do every other one. Which, you know, really, I guess I could leave. I don't know that the stumps stop it from like dropping items, but as you can see, they're not actually, they're dropping in the open spaces, not the stump spaces. So maybe it is beneficial to do it this way. For me, just for aesthetics, I think it <laughs> looks bad <laughs> to have all the stumps. So like really for no other reason than aesthetics, I'm trying to clear this out because it's what I want. <laughs> Uh, we are working on the transportation thingy down here. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I'm already making all this. It is using up a lot of logs, which is kind of a pain. So I'm just going to let that finish out. Because, I mean, we're already having trouble with logs. So we really shouldn't be doing this. But I am trying to progress. Um, the panels are holding us up as far as uh, getting new bots going. And someone's dead over here. Seems like, no, just a slow bot. Okay. Um, we're almost done with the basic play things thing, so we can actually start the two new things after. Well, we have a couple things left. Um, in this we have the cauldron and then the beehive and then the new animals. And this one's the important one where we really want to get it done and I think that's what I'll do next and I'll probably do both of them working on that and then what I'll do is I'll keep one working on these these two things and then I'll have one upgrade to this because I do need the structural parts this is where I think we start getting into electricity because the structural parts, like this triangle one, starts making um, the windmill or the water wheel. Uh, so, yeah. I wonder if I should just build a new research station, like a third one. And then, you know, just kept upgrading that one. And then that way I have one, maybe. That might be a good idea. Let's look. So, I think it's under the B. No, it's not under the Wonders. And there's also this, Spaceport. Landing site for off-world cargo ships. But I don't, I don't know what that's for. But this is the one for electricity. And we just don't have the triangle frame. Miscellaneous. And crude mortar thing. So we did do all that and I just haven't done anything. I guess it's just in this thing. No, no, yes, right here. Okay, yeah, that's actually gonna require a lot of stuff, but I guess we'll, we'll do it, because I think we'll actually start, with more babies, I think we can handle it. Each level makes you have more babies. So I think we'll be able to handle it at that point, but we need to move some stuff out of the way first. Okay, let's um, move this. I was going to take it down here. We'll just... Uh, no. Okay. 
Um, I'll just set it on top of this log one, even though um, it's certainly not going to need to. Are they actually starting this thing? Yeah, they're actually starting this thing already, so I guess we can leave it there. I was gonna move it a little bit inward. Yeah, I'll just move it a bit inward. It seems like those blueprint ones get in there way more quickly than anyone else. Oh, do we not have... Okay, so bot maker must be down. Bot maker, you need to be recharged. That's you. Okay. Oh, I guess I need to dump. That is one thing that I dislike. Like they can't see, they don't seem to know what they've already done. So. Okay. I'm not sure what I want that bot for just yet. Someone was dead on my baby feeder team. Baby stewed apples. Come here. We need to, I mean, maybe I need to do it just as a recharge bot over in this area. Because we don't need recharge bots to be dead in this area. I mean, with so few bots, I feel like I have to, like, make good choices. Okay. Okay. My lumber guy. Let's pull that back up. Lumber guy. Oh, I don't know what I did with that thing. It might be broken. So let me go grab one of these. Where am I? Okay, so I have one of those. All right, so what I need you to do is fill a hole. delete those move that back in we'll see if those walls are are good just now okay. get you pulled in and all the way up There we go. And then, I mean, we can do the cross ones. It'll, it'll make it look better, but it's, it's definitely like, it's going to be a lot of like kind of tedious moving around. Okay. So what is this? The, the toy thing. Oh, uh, you know, I'm going to leave it. We're not ready. I think to move up anyway. We still have to do, so I need the torch down here. What do I need? Sticks and straw. That's easy. Just grab a stick. And then the straw. And we'll do, we'll do the cauldron thing right now. Well, I guess I need two of these then if I want everyone to do one. And it'll just get it done a little bit. Ooh, something is available on this. We'll look in a sec. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, let's not that the the stick. The stick. Okay. Let's look and see what's new here. Okay, these thingies, wooden buttons. Okay. Uh, let's go get our straw. And I think we're gonna need to probably redo what we do for like the clothing and toys and everything like that. <sighs> Can I carry more than one torch at a time? Oh, I thought I got the stick. I thought I did the stick. Okay, so two torches, so I can only do one, but I can stow one, do the other. Okay, I'm going to, for both of these, for right now, do that. And then each one later can take on one of the other ones while we upgrade that research station. Pull it out. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I don't know what we're doing. Okay, come back over. Uh, yeah, research station is on its way, I guess. Do I not have a stone guy doing this stuff? Let's look at blueprint stone. I do have a stone guy, however, he is currently not working. So he could do that and work. Maybe I stopped him when we were out of stone, which we are currently out of stone. Um, but he should be okay right here. And where are we? Right here. Yeah, so we're good with the stone. We're just gonna wait on the poles and see. Oh, I have some, no, that's a flail. So this guy has got a panel. This guy hardly ever gets panels. Yeah, my, my concern about getting someone else in here to dig holes is that they're not gonna do it in the same spots. Maybe, but yeah, maybe if they do just stumps. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe that that'll work. Okay, I think this guy is done with his stuff right here. So let's get him to just dig up this last line. And this last line, I think, will be fine because while well, it's part of the lumber yard, it's like the off one anyway. So maybe I can move the yum lumber yard out one. We'll see. Okay. So let's grab this guy and he's gonna just dig up this last row of stuff. And then I guess we can work him on the cross sections, but I, I don't really know. I don't know if we're gonna do the cross sections like that. Okay. What we may have this guy do after he's done with this one is he can go in also, we'll just change his thing so he can dig up the stumps that I need him to dig up. No, we would actually have to, if I have someone else coming in and dig just stumps, we're going to have to have him take care of those like little cross sections. Otherwise, it won't be every other one. 
like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. And then I might dig up. See, they're doing that while I have the time and nothing else to do for the moment. I might dig up some of these, like, little cross ones right here. And then like quickly fill in the holes so they don't like that. Like what are you doing? That's what I didn't want you to do. <sighs> yeah, see that's what I didn't want them to do. Ugh. <sighs> So I guess I'll have to leave those stumps there. Because it, it actually does take them so long to get the stump up that someone can come up behind them and plant something. Okay. Well, we'll let that guy finish out his stuff. And we actually need to move our uh, tree planter. Over to this. So they get, can get some more of that. And hopefully that'll help them get some more stuff. And where are we in this business? We have not got everything yet, but we've got a good amount. So let's move a lot of this down this way. And one of the gates is there. Okay. So let's kind of click off that and we'll move individual pieces. Why is that stacked the way it is? So what my plan was is to, I guess I can't do it on the clay. So I'm gonna have to get rid of that. Uh, well then I will do that at a later moment, I guess. Because I have enough, I just, I don't necessarily want to lose the plant in case I need it at some point. Like, is that plant anywhere else? I mean, I, I assume it would be. Oh, there's a chicken. Call me your chicken. We're going to go get you. We're going to go grab this chicken and stick him in our chicken thing. That way we'll have the two chickens that we need. Chicken. Go rabbit. When we decide we want to do chickens, they're already stuck over this way. What does this chicken want, though? I don't need it to actually lay eggs or anything. I like how they just kind of cross through there. Okay, we're gonna pop this chicken in here. Oh, that's weird. It went right in there. Okay. And I need cereal seeds in there. What I had intended to do, I guess, was basically this. Let it do this and just plant the weeds as I got them for the chickens because I don't think they need much else like I don't know what I thought chickens just needed this stuff but maybe they need the empty ground yeah it does appear that maybe they just need empty ground not the grass okay I guess let's, oh, I have to do the turf. Mm. 
Okay, yeah, this is what they need. So they don't actually need the grass. But now they're moving around. So that's interesting. I mean, they did have the, like, empty space. Okay. I mean, this should be enough for the two chickens at the current moment. And if we feel like chickens need more, we'll do some stuff. We'll extend the thing. We'll just finish out this little area. Okay. And then we'll just grab this turf up and then it'll be fine. We have the sky high turf. Let's move the turf. They don't seem to mind it, but I don't want it laying there, so. I don't know if it eventually ends up just like disintegrating or not. Okay. So they should be fine. Okay, what's going on down here? Dead people. This guy's dead. Okay. Let's see. This is still, <laughs> let's just need poles. I might just go grab the poles from the other thing. I need three poles for that. Well, I actually don't have a lot of poles. I don't know if I need to take the poles from here. I guess we can. I would like to move along a bit. Oh, I think I only got two poles. It's fine. That'll just, it'll get it just a little bit closer. Here we come. snag one there. Okay, so we got first level bench. Let's now upgrade it to... That actually needs less stuff. Still poles, though. So that guy's still got some work for himself. We might just go grab it from here, because we need this stuff. Yeah, not as much stuff, actually, for this one. So we just need the stone guy to get it together. Okay, so that guy's done with his. Let's go ahead and change it up. And we'll have him fill those holes. Okay, there I am. I didn't realize I had shown up already, okay. So what I need you to do is fill a hole right there. Okay. So you fill this hole and nope. Not that, come right here. Okay, this. Yeah, I, I don't know that I'm going to mess with like the cross ones that are stumps. That's just gonna be like a big thing to have to try to like move the guy around. We might eventually, but not today. 
but we will finish this one and I think the tree planters fine where it is because it's covering everything that we wanted it's not attached to the lumberyard sign but I think this row was the end of the lumberyard sign um, so what we'll do is when this guy's done with this we'll have him I think dig up stumps no I'm no I mean we would need to have those individual stumps completely filled oh no Oh no, okay, tree planner is where I, that's the one where I was moving him around. Yeah, that's fine, okay. I mean, I could do that, but what I would need to do is like come in here, quickly get this up, and then quickly fill it. Like, so we'd have to do it like that Ah! Yeah. So I would have to move around that thing as well. Yeah. So we'd have to move around the, the tree seed guy again in order to get these like little cross ones done. Okay, well, we'll think about whether we want to, to go through that. I mean, it would probably, it would make it look better. It would definitely, I guess, give me more opportunity to have stuff drop. Um, it doesn't seem that I can even handle the whole space with what I've got, so I'll have to add more people in there to even do this, and my concern is them not lining up the holes properly. So, um, but yeah, so that is everything for this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.